God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Alleluia. O splendid giver of the light, though darkness covered earth before, now that the gloomy night has passed, thy brightness fills the sky once more. Thou art the world's true morning star, not that which dimly in the night is herald of the dawn to come, and shines with only meager light. But brighter even than the sun, the clearest light and day thou art, enlightening with blazing rays the inner depths of mind and heart. Let chastity of mind prevail, And let not baser wants endure, but send the Holy Ghost to keep the temple of our bodies pure. Sit Christe Rex Pissime, Tipi Patrique Gloria, Cum Spiritu Paraclito, in sempiterna secula. Amen. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Like the deer that he yearns for running streams, So my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day. As I hear it said all the day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember As I pour out my soul, How I would lead the rejoicing crowd Into the house of God, Amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, The throng wild with joy, Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise Him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you. From the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mitzar, deep is calling on deep in the roar of waters. Your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I will sing to him. Praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? 
Hope in God, I will praise Him still, my Savior and my God. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. Come to our aid, O God of the universe, and put all the nations in dread of you. Raise your hand against the heathen, that they may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, so now use them to show us your glory. So now use them to show us your glory. Thus they will know as we know that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders. Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. Gather all the tribes of Jacob that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. The heavens proclaim the glory of God and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth their words to the utmost bounds of the world. Darius placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky, is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen.
The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. When I found your words, I devoured them. They became my joy and the happiness of my heart. Because I bore your name, O Lord God of hosts. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Sing a new song to the Lord. Give him the praise that is due. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Our Savior has made us a nation of priests to offer acceptable sacrifice to the Father. Let us call upon him in gratitude. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. Christ, eternal priest, you conferred the holy priesthood on your people. Grant that we may offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Father. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. In your goodness, pour out on us the fruits of your Spirit, patience, kindness, and gentleness. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. May we love you and possess you, for you are love. And may every action of our lives praise you. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. May we seek those things which are beneficial to our brothers without counting the cost to help them on the way to salvation. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty Father, you have brought us to the light of a new day. Keep us safe the whole day through from every sinful inclination. May all our thoughts, words, and actions aim at doing what is pleasing in your sight. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ.